Hello and welcome back to Football Manager 2020 here on Roscoe Gaming with Bath City Football Club that we're trying to take to the top of Premier League and beyond. And we are in our first season here in Vanera National League South and we're doing right all right for ourselves. Uh, we are at our targets top half of the table and shadowing our playoff spot. But up next we have our first big match in this uh, Let's Play series which is against Bolton in the English FA First Cup and that is the match that we have uh, coming up here played at home and uh, I'll see you at the team selection if nothing interesting is happening before that. So obviously we are uh, very much underdogs here in this match against Bolton, but uh, we will play our best and hope for the best. And we're not that super far away to, so to say, actually, at uh, with the odds of five times the money. I wouldn't say that it's impossible in any way whatsoever. So we have Smith that we would like to sub in, but he's still suspended. Uh, otherwise, we have uh, the strongest team of our own players, so to say. But obviously, we are uh, sort of weak here in the midfield and uh, our uh, striker as well. And well, we are not that great when we're playing our own play players either. So uh, that is something we would like to work with here coming seasons for sure. And uh, we will just kick off here and hope for the best. We followed the advice that we got from our assistant coach uh, before that we would defend more narrowly since we're stronger in the middle, which is true for all uh, parts of the team in the defense and in the midfield. And we'll go to a mentality to, uh, of defensive here directly in uh, this match. Uh, I think that's probably best and um, try to play counter-attacks or something like that. And we have our first highlight here in uh, this match in the 11th minute. It's uh, Bolton, not City, Bolton just bring it forward here and a long shot there that Clark manages to save uh, really well struck shot there but uh, managing to clear that and uh, then uh, easy save there for Clark on the corner and, and next highlight is a kick off from uh, Clark here to start with and we'll see if it, we mess up about with it or something and not yet Edwards with a long ball and, and there is the uh, error didn't find anyone really so uh, Bonton playing forward here steadily and uh, playing it wide here on the left hand side will you be able to cross now you pass it in in towards the penalty area and it's a goal for Bolton here in the 18th minute unfortunately so we will we'll go up to balanced in uh, mentality uh, since well you don't really score goal in a defensive mentality. You can, but it's not really likely. And uh, yeah, well struck shot there, and a good shot. And uh, Clark could possibly have gotten to it, but uh, can't blame him too much, to be honest. So so far we haven't got a shot at all away, uh, which is understandable. Uh, we do have the next highlight here, and. Uh, I don't think we will be first to the ball, but we are still in control of the ball, sort of. Seemed to be pushing up there a little bit, stressing Bolton actually, and it's a header there from Britain that actually were very, very close to hitting the target, or rather getting into goal, since it obviously were over the keeper there with no trouble whatsoever. So it looks like we have two players that are a little bit on a tired side. But after one half, the score is 0 to 1. And uh, well, it's all well deserved and uh, all not uh, not to be expected anything else. Obviously, the team isn't having that great ratings here in this match, but I'm not expecting them to have. 
uh, first I let here in the second half in the 48th minute. Bass City with a chance to cross, cross it, it to Brunt, which is with a shot, and it's a goal for Bass City here in uh, the 48th minute. And uh, it's equalized then here, I guess, which is really great. And uh, we are quite pleased with a draw. To be honest, a win would be better, of course, but a draw here and uh, getting a uh, second meeting at Bolton home field will mean a lot of money to the club. So uh, very happy with that. And uh, next highlight here in the 52nd minute. That's it with a throw in and the ball to Edwards. Edwards driving it forward here and getting clear, really clear and shooting there but he puts it really wide on a, a really great chance actually uh, that uh, definitely missed there so uh, time to make a sub or two a corner here from for Bolton first Brian with ball crosses it wide to null and it's off the top bar <laughs> Super strong shot there, uh, but not hitting the target, which is uh, very lucky for us. So we'll put in Reigns instead of Edwards, who is tired. Then we have Pearson and Riley Lowe, that also is sort of tired. So we'll uh, switch out a Riley. And uh, we'll switch out, yeah, I think we'll switch out Pearson as well. Here, it's a bit early maybe to do three subs, but uh, we're doing that no matter what and just trying to have as fresh feats as possible on the feed here. So no highlights for a little while, but we have one here and now in the 75th minute. Uh, quite high pressure there from our players, but unfortunately not getting to the ball. So it's still a Bolton in control here, passing it forward and uh, walking through our defender <laughs> but uh, coming in into the penalty area and uh, shooting over the top bar and uh, we see that they have had trouble hitting the target if we're looking on the stats with 24 shots so far but only seven hitting the target and uh, look at that we have one last highlight here possibly before the end of the match in the first minute of extra time and it's a bad pass there by Bass and uh, Bolton with a shot here and it's a goal for Bolton here in the 91st minute the first minute of extra time and uh, yeah, exactly what we didn't want it all looked so good and uh, I just had to say that it was probably the last highlight but I felt like this is the last highlight and uh, yeah that is definitely a save that Clark should have been able to do uh, which is really frustrating that we miss out such late in the game overall I think they performed pretty good. And the final result for Bassett versus Bolton is 1 to 2, shots 9 to 29, shots on target 4 to 9, and possession 42 to 58%. So obviously, we didn't deserve a draw as such in this match, but it would have been so great in uh, financial aspects to get a draw here. But uh, yeah, we are we're quite pleased here. Uh, nonetheless and overall well decent performance from the team even though nothing special and we didn't win but a good result and everything like that and we had 3489 attending in that game so pretty much sold out which is very nice and uh, we can praise Richard's performance for sure there uh, training in a review that is something I will check myself that you don't need to go through but we'll criticize Stern here and he's uh, uh, just having trouble or we're just having trouble with him so to say and uh, let's just have a quick look here on finances finances and uh, yeah we have a good profit this month still probably so uh, that's Good, but uh, could have been so much more. Next up, we'll have a match against Eastbourne and Borough in eight days, and I'll see you then. All right, so here at the uh, <laughs> league match, we are pretty strong favorites. 
against East Bombero and we should be as they are 20th in the league. We will be without Edwards here though that are on international duty. Uh, but that shouldn't be any real worries. We'll put in Smith instead. Oh, Richards and Richards, you will get uh, the chance there, I uh, thought, to play on the wing, but you will not. Reigns will play there instead. And uh, everyone else is in a good condition and everything, so we'll uh, play here and uh, move uh, forward. Uh, So hopefully this will be a better match than uh, we had against Bolton. Kick off play and comment the match, just as we always do here on uh, Raw Slow Gaming. And while we are playing this match, remember to smash that like button if you're enjoying the show. Also, if you haven't done so yet and want to follow along on our journey, you should hit that subscribe button. And if you, for some reason, uh, want to support the channel even more, do check out the membership tabs and options that I have for the channel. Some perks and levels will give you the chance to name a new player in uh, the game. Uh, in the game, once per once per game year in FIFA Manager or Football Manager 2020 with the Best City Foot Club football club and uh, the intakes uh, so if uh, that is something that would be interesting to you do check that out and if you even consider it i'm very humble then uh, that dragged on for far too long my babble there so to say uh, so far we have had a highlight here that i didn't comment that uh, bront had and managing to hit the post or the top bar very nearly a goal after that not so much at all actually happening so far with uh, almost the first half gone here so uh, it's time to start shouting here in the second half i think because well the first half will end with that only highlight and uh, Looks all right stats wise and everything, but uh, we haven't really hit the target, and uh, and uh, we should be able to do better, really. So we'll uh, end the team talk here and start the match, or start the second half and shout to show some passion here. So first highlight here in and the second half is for Bassetti Smith with the ball passing to Harper. Uh, playing it back to the middle again to Shilvers. Shilvers playing way wide to Reigns and to Britton hitting the top bar upright. Uh, actually, which should be, well, I guess uh, the very corner of uh, the post and uh, the top bar. Uh, so we'll shout the man more here and uh, see if we can't get out something. All players are very fresh, shots and everything is not really getting there, so we'll move mentality up to attacking as well. And uh, shout, show some passion, and uh, we'll do a sub or two here now, because uh, we need to do something. And uh, we don't really have anyone that is playing that bad as such, uh, but we are going to switch out. three players just to do something to shake the th shake things up and I will shout the man more and uh, we are dominating this game but we can't seem to be getting anything in and uh, there we have it the end result after full time is zero to zero for Basic versus East Bomboro and only two highlights in this match in total shots 17 to 4 shots on target 7 to 1 and possession 56 to 44 percent so obviously we should have won that game but I uh, didn't manage to get in with any dangerous chances whatsoever apparently other than of course the two times hitting uh, the framework so to say of uh, the goal which of course is dangerous but we didn't manage to get it in to the goal so I'm, I'm not too pleased with that for sure and uh, we slipped down one place to ninth place after that match and uh, 
up to the top, it's uh, a long way to go. Up to the playoff zone, not so much. So I still hope that we can manage to end uh, the first season here in the playoff zone. Next up, Chippenham in 14 days. Wow, a long time here between matches for this one. And I'll see you then. So it's actually the FA Trophy third round qualification round that we are going to play here. And we were draw drawn against Borser and Pitsy. Uh, we are playing away team though, but it should be an easy win here for us as it's a regional team and uh, not here in the National League South or or anything like that. So it should be, as I said, uh, a good chance for us to shine here. And uh, let's bring Edwards back here, since he's uh, back from his uh, international uh, duties. And we'll bring in uh, Reigns instead of uh, Mann. That is something we will not do instead of uh, Simpson. And everyone is in good condition. Well, Edwards is a little bit on the tired side, but that's all right. And uh, we'll submit the team and go to match here. And uh, in between here, we have uh, extended the contracts for uh, Batten and for uh, Brandt here for uh, next season. So hopefully uh, we can uh, maybe secure uh, one or two more contracts for next season. But obviously, also if you we are going to be able to manage a... Uh, a promotion and then uh, holding off contracts as long as possible is good since that will mean full-time contracts for those that we are prolonging everything for uh, since going up a league will mean the club will turn professional and uh, that will mean better training and uh, well training full-time and everything like that which is key to developing the players and while i've been speaking here we got a goal for basity in uh, the 13th minute or something like that so that's great uh, highlight here for uh, Bowser Pitsy uh, but they didn't manage to get to the ball uh, on their corner but getting a second chance here and uh, maybe able to cross it now failed cross Brunt picks up the loose ball and passing it wide here in the defense. A little bit risky, but managed to get it through. And a long ball up to Britton, and he's dribbling it forward, putting it forward to Edwards. Edwards tries to cross it, but fails, unfortunately. And uh, our counter-attack here. Now the ball back to Batten, and uh, a poor pass. And here is the counter-attack, and I guess for Bowser PC. Stefan here in uh, the midfield turn with forward and playing a long ball up towards um, their strikers, but uh, wrongly addressed. So the ball to Bassett and she was on a long ball up to Britton. Britton one on one versus the keeper and he shoots just wide. Uh, looked like a dangerous, <laughs> dangerous chance there, but uh, not hitting the target. Next up, a uh, free kick here by Shilvers. Will he shoot? Yes, he shoots and a pretty decent save there by the keeper and out for a corner. And here comes the corner, really low. And Silver's with a header, but pretty much straight at the keeper, unfortunately. So we are pretty, well, not satisfied with what, just winning with one goal, but the uh, Compared to last match, which we should have won with at least one goal, uh, where we didn't get in any, we are happy with one goal. But here is the second goal of the match for Basity and Bront there with a header into goal. And now uh, we extend the lead here in the 32nd minute to 2 2 0 for Basity versus Bowser and Bitsy. Yeah. Good dribble there and a good uh, cross. Maybe not the best of headers, to be honest, there from Brunt, but uh, at least on a target, which is always nice. Right, so we are nearing the end of the first half, and, and there we have it. So leading us at a 2 to 0 after halftime, and the stats looks very good here. Maybe not that great in possession, and also not that great in the 
percent that we have hit the target but uh, other than that it looks all right and uh, good uh, performance overall by the lad switch is nice and again uh, our assistant shouts things at the sign line which we don't like first highlight here in the second half it's a goal for bowser and pizzi here unfortunately which have reduced or lead then, so the scoreline 2 2 1 for Bassett versus Bowser and Pizzi here in the 56th minute. And I don't know what the hell Clark did there. You need to go out and actually collect the ball if that is what you're trying to do. So, time for a substitution or two. Uh, Edwards is uh, definitely tired here, so we'll switch him out. And uh, Pearson also on uh, the tired side. So we'll switch him out as well. Unfortunately, we don't really have any left winger as such, uh, other than Edwards and Pearson that are good in playing, or competent at least in playing in both sides. And uh, next I'd like to hear a goal kick from uh, our Sir Pizzi, but uh, just getting to our defenders. And uh, again, to your defenders, and unfortunately, a bad header there from our defenders. So the ball to Bowser Pizzi and Stefan here again uh, dribbling forward. And a good slide and tackling there from Smith, but unfortunately, not getting the ball still. And uh, quite much pressure here on Stefan. And Smith picks up uh, the loose ball, so to say. Britain 1 0 versus the keeper with T shoots. Super wide and a horrible finish there, really, to be honest. And uh, let's do a last switch here. And Britain, you're getting subbed out and uh, bringing man on here instead. And uh, I should probably maybe have changed his uh, playing style, so to say, but we didn't. Uh, so. That will be all right anyway. Five minutes of extra time, far too much uh, for my liking, but uh, all right. And we have a highlight here in extra time again. And uh, again, it's the opponent team that is having control of the ball. And a uh, ball in to the penalty area with no one challenging their attackers there. But uh, Clark did a good save, luckily enough. And uh, unfortunately, we didn't. That wasn't the last highlight, and I uh, so, sorry for that uh, stutter and uh, doing it again, actually. Uh, but here, Harper comes up on the right hand side. Will he be able to cross it? And now he's closed down, uh, but passes it in towards the middle to Smith, and he passes even more into Silvers here, into Brunt, and uh, Riley Low Richards with a chance, but he shoots it so wide on. Uh, well, not an open net, but uh, close to it. And uh, still another highlight here. Apparently, we can't just let this match end. And it's uh, again a Bowser uh, Pizzi. It looks like that have control of the ball, playing it wide here now, right hand side, but uh, apparently out for a throw in. I don't know what that highlight were, but all uh, right. Uh, maybe it's still coming. We're just getting it uh, shown to us really early. Richard with the ball, or uh, Richards rather, passing to Smith to Brunt. Uh, left hand side to Riley Low here. And dribbling, passing backwards to Smith. And the ball up to Reigns. Reigns first to Keeper. And it's a goal for Bastet here in the 95th minute. And uh, we re extend at the lead. And already we secured match with the seconds to go here. 3 2 1 for Bassett versus uh, <laughs> Buzzer Pizzi, which is also going to be the final result, of course. And finally, someone actually hitting the target there, and a pretty slim uh, angle actually uh, to be able to put that in. But as I said, final result 3 to 1. Shots 24 to 4. Shots on target 10 to 2, possession 51 to 49 percent, and uh, overall a good result for the team and a decent performance by the lads. A little bit too exciting there in the end for me. Uh, it felt like much more close than it had to be, 
So a little bit frustrating regarding that. But other than that, a, a good match. And uh, we get uh, 6k or so for that, which is all right. And uh, yeah, that will be everything for this episode. So I hope you have enjoyed it. And I hope to see you soon again here on the channel. With that said, thank you so much for watching and uh, bye bye. You have been watching Rollsclaw Gaming and I hope you have enjoyed. On clicking on the video on the left you will see the next video in this series and on the right our latest upload to the channel. And with that said, thank you again for watching.